This is Roy Scheider, 2001. This was zero hour for me because I had to really dance in these scenes with uh, Anne Reinking and Ben Vereen, and I don't have those kind of muscles. I was in pretty good shape, but I just don't have the muscles to, to move in the directions that they could move in. So we shot this scene up in uh, Purchase, New York, and a small amphitheater that was right for the scene. And I can remember that every night I went back to the motel into a hot bath with a lot of Tiger Bomb, thinking I'd never make it out the next morning. I had such respect for these dancers. It was the hardest physical thing I've ever had to do in a film. For Fosse, this was very much a, a couch movie. He was a man who had been in therapy before, but this was an artistic chance to really examine himself. And he was pretty hard on himself. For example, in the last scene, the death finale scene, which is, of course, marvelous if you're a director and you can choreograph your own death, when he has the character of Joe Gideon run up into the audience, still in the beat with the music, and say goodbye to his old friends, the wife and the daughter and the mistress and the director and the producers and all those people that he either had loved or didn't love, and they either loved or didn't love him, and he shakes hands and he kisses and he does all those things and he runs back down to the stage. Well, on that day, we rehearsed it about three or four times, trying to get the uh, timing down right. And he said to me, that must be a pretty good feeling to do that. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, Bob, why don't you do it? Try it. He said, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I said, come on. And everyone around said, come on, Bobby, do it, do it. So they started up the music, and he raced up the steps, and he did all the things that you see me do in that scene. Says goodbye to all those people. And he comes down, and he's... <sighs> He's puffing pretty hard. He's still smoking a few cigarettes at that time. And I said, well, how did that feel? He said, oh, man. He said, that's, that's really great. And he said, you know what? I said, what? He said, they all forgiven me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the moment I remember the most from the film. A rare thing happened on this film. So much went into the preparation of developing the character between Fosse and myself. I got to know him pretty well. He got to know me pretty well. And we had a lot of things in common, and uh, we remained very good friends after this film was over. I mean, he was a guy I saw maybe once or twice a week for years after the movie was over, and it's very unusual that that happens. We both lived in Manhattan, and we liked the same things, sports, women, <laughs> having a good time, dinners, but he was always available socially. And it's one of those times when a professional relationship led to a, uh, a genuine uh, social relationship. And I, I was very happy about that. I think he knew that his death was not gonna be as wonderful as this. So that's why he spent so much time thinking about making it wonderful in the movie. As you know, he died on a park bench in Washington, D.C. He was walking along with Gwen Verdon. They had just watched a rehearsal of Sweet Charity, which was opening that evening in Washington. He just stopped, and he said, I don't feel well. He laid down on the bench, and he died. I've enjoyed this opportunity to talk about this film, not only because it's very close to me, but because it is a tribute to one of the great creative artists of the 20th century, Mr. Fosse, along with Baryshnikov and uh, Balanchine and Robbins, and he, he's one of the great, great choreographers of our time. And choreography is not something that's written down like music or, uh, or art. It's something that's passed on orally. And uh, this movie passes on this man's work. I've always felt that there was a part of Fosse that was always very apologetic about being uh, commercial or crass or being uh, cheap or being uh, burlesque or being vaudeville. Yes, he was all those things, but he, he managed to combine them into something that was so exhilarating and marvelous to look at, the way he made people move, that really gave you a thrill to watch it. It was so exciting to watch the human body do what he could make it do and make it so pleasing at the same time. So I feel the movie is a great piece of entertainment, but it's also a great tribute to him as well.